So today I really want to talk about something that has changed the way that I use my smartphone every day. And yes, you guessed it. I'm talking about Gemini Live on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. But this isn't just another voice assistant or a quirky AI feature tacked on for marketing. This thing is practically a co-pilot for your entire life. Now I have tinkered with AI over the years from those clunky early iterations on websites to even newer stuff like the S24, S25 Ultra, as well as some of the newer sort of tech like Louis and sort of everything in between. But Gemini Live, it is just different. The integration is seamless, response times are surprisingly snappy, and after using it daily for a whole spectrum of tasks, it generally became indispensable. So how do you even get this thing fired up? So setting up Gemini Live is about as straightforward as it gets. You just head into settings, then advanced features, side button, long press, and then select digital assistant. Now, if memory serves, this should be on by default, but if it's not, now at least you know where to find it. Now, once that is done, a small search bar pops up at the bottom of your screen when you hold down the sign button. And honestly, that is why I use it so much. The way Samsung integrated Gemini Live, letting you just press and hold the side button, completely cuts the need for you to hunt for any sort of app. And yes, sure, you could probably use other AI apps, but the sheer convenience of having it instantly accessible makes it a total no-brainer. Plus it does more than other AI apps would, even if you still use an S25 Ultra, but more on that later. For me, where Gemini Live really shines is its conversational capability. It feels less like talking to a rigid program and more like having a genuine back and forth with a person. You can use natural language, it just gets it, allowing you to accomplish almost anything you want without the need to sound a certain way or speak in a certain tone. You can just ask it. Now for me in my world of content creation, this has been a massive time saver. I'll simply ask it for social media caption ideas, give it a quick rundown of the content and where I'm posting it, and seriously, in seconds, it spits out multiple options. From there, I can ask it to combine elements from a couple of my favorites, and then it's just a quick copy and paste, and I'm done. Gone are the days of trying to figure out what to say on a caption or simply using an inspirational quote. Now you have someone that can figure it out for you, and it doesn't stop there. You can ask for help structuring videos, writing scripts, brainstorming main topics, or even get assistance rewriting intros and outros to better hook your audience, but the ability extends far beyond just content creation. You can literally ask Gemini anything. Need a complex scientific concept or a new technology explained in a simple, digestible way? Gemini can do that. It's almost like having a personal tutor follow you around wherever you go. And this is really another area where I frequently use Gemini for those sort of day-to-day -day questions, getting a better grasp on various topics and concepts, or simply just things that I think about during the day. It saves a ton of time because I don't have to open a browser and type out the search query. I just ask the question and any sort of follow-ups that I have directly, and I simply get an answer. Or I can have Gemini read it out to me, or if you are in a public space, you can, of course, read it yourself. And for those of you who deal with public speaking, presentation, or even interviews, the next one is a game changer, and it's called presentation prep, or at least that's what I'm calling it. And you can rehearse the script or presentation and get real-time spoken feedback on your pacing, tone, and content, which is great for anyone who's ever had to get up in front of people or even someone just starting out in content creation. It is fantastic sort of for building confidence in a private setting while still getting that valuable feedback. And trust me, you can do so much more. From getting outfit ideas with live visual assist features to the standard identify what's on my screen, similar to what Circle to Search does, to translations and a whole lot more. But where it truly begins to feel less like a smartphone with some AI features and more like a genuine assistant is in its deep integration into your everyday apps, which they have already started expanding. So really looking forward to how this can look sort of in a year or two. So here's what I mean. I can effortlessly create reminders by simply saying, please remind me to call Peter at 4 p.m. And boom, it's there. You can ask it to add events to your calendar as you schedule them or even add upcoming games. 
I can say, find the next five Manchester United games and add them to my calendar. And it handles it. And this is where I find myself using Gemini Live a lot, is with creating reminders and adding things to my calendar. And the reason for this is it saves so much time compared to manually having to navigate to those apps, finding the right day and time, and then typing everything out. This takes me less than 10 seconds, and that is for everything. You can even leverage Google Maps and messages. Say I wanna find best sushi restaurants in the area, Gemini will use apps to find the ones closest to me or whatever area I specify, but then you can even have a draft messages for you. For instance, please find me the top five sushi restaurants in Cape Town and draft a message to share with Chez. It will find those restaurants in maps and then generate a message ready to send. And if you wanna make changes to the message, you can do that as well. And that alone can save you anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes Plus it's a cool way to discover new spots and sort of keep things interesting. And then the final way Gemini Live really helps me save a significant amount of time is with how you can save those interactions. Let's say you ask for a video script or an outline of different topic ideas. You don't necessarily have to copy that interaction or go to where you wanna save it and paste it. You can simply tap the dots at the bottom right and export it directly to Google Docs. And that's one of my absolute favorite ways to save scripts or research because it's so easy to then retrieve that on any of my other devices wherever I am. But you can also draft an email in Gmail if you need to forward your findings in an email. Say if you summarized an entire document you uploaded to Gemini or if you really want to export it to notes or even create a public share link to the Gemini answer itself to share with different people. Now for me, Gemini Live on the S25 Ultra truly is the pinnacle of where this kind of tech needs to be headed. For the past few years, we've been getting these devices with AI features that feel more like a gimmick, just existing without really providing any sort of value. And yes, even though those are fun to play with and to show to your friends, with this, you genuinely get a device that makes your life easier, saves you time, and can honestly be seen as a personal assistant. It can actually do things like draft emails and messages, look for things on maps and create reminders without you needing to do all the manual heavy lifting. And that right there is the reason why I love Gemini Live and honestly why I love the S25 Ultra and why this will keep being my sort of day-to-day -day smartphone. But what about you? What are your favorite features or ways of using Gemini Live in your life? There are so many different ways to leverage it, and these were just a few of the ways that I use it day to day. I'd love to see how you make use of it and sort of let me know down in the comment section below. And then until next time, cheers.